strike guard lightning warning system today. This is a standard uh, strike guard lightning warning system order. You'll notice it does have the arrows this side up. It's for a reason. Hopefully, it arrived intact to you. <laughs> some of the packaging. Just a filler to hold the space in here. Immediately you have a couple things. I'll swing this up so you can read it. So you have your sensor, a separate box in its own foam. You've got your lightning data receiver. It's on box. Next, you have your accessories that go with your strike guard, labeled here, and your three two-foot tripod for mounting your strike guard sensor up on the roof. This opens like a standard tripod. Take a look at your lightning data receiver. You're gonna have a warranty sheet inside. Then I'll have your serial number um, and your warranty information. Inside here you have your power supply. You'll notice this is a 12 volt power supply. Your lightning data receiver. On strap cable. Here you have your interface cable already connected. Diagram showing you where the lightning data receiver goes in the whole system. Sensor, this is the lightning data receiver. This little cable is the interface cable as labeled on the diagram. And you have a diagram here showing you exactly how that interface cable is connected to the bottom of the strike card lightning data receiver. When you take your lightning data receiver, connect it to your sensor. This is going to go on the tripod, usually on the roof of the building where your base equipment, your lightning data receiver is going to live. Indoors, the sensor goes outdoors. And here you find your sensor in the foam. We recommend you keep this foam in this box as it's a perfect fit. It's a custom fit for it. And you would want to use that later if you need service for your sensor. You can send it back in this foam. It's shipped to you in the upside down position because in this position it is turned off. And when we flip it over, you'll see that it does turn on. If you look inside here, see this is where the fiber optic connects. And when we turn it on, it'll actually produce a red light and flash showing you that it is turned on. Uh, that can also be used if you hold it up in certain areas you can look and see if you have interference it'll actually flash a light down on you a steady light showing you have interference this diffuser here uh, is all sealed so it's important it stays intact this is why the custom foam packaging is recommended you keep that in case you ever need to send it back for service or do an exchange in the future and as I said before, the sensor connects to your lightning data receiver via fiber optic. We open up our accessories here. A couple things. Here we have our armored fiber optic cable. We have our sensor mounting clamp. We have the pitch pads for the tripod to put these underneath the brass part of the tripod between the tripod and the roof and use the screws to bolt it in. The sensor mounting hardware. Runaway foam. Attaches to the sensor right here. You lightly start it. Once it's started, take it. You keep it in the upside down position. So you attach the fiber optic cable in there, connect it to the lightning data receiver below. Then when you're ready to mount it, slide this over 
and that slides over the pole of the tripod and you just tighten that down and it'll clamp it on there. This fiber optic cable comes with a little cap on the end of the cable to protect the end. It's a plastic cable. You take the cap off and insert it into your ferrule like so, and then tighten the ferrule down. Loosen it to remove it. So one end goes in the sensor, the other end of the ferrule of the cable goes into the lightning data receiver. Other accessories that are in the bag, in the box, I should say. You have a thumb drive that has all of our user's guides as well as um, these diagrams that we've included um, and some other, a, a copy of the catalog as well for your use and reference. Also has a copy of the Strike View software. Here you have here, this is a software packet, so it includes the USB to RS-232 connector, a 10 meter length of fiber so that you can connect. Strike guard fiber optic converter to your computer. If your computer does not have a serial port, you use this adapter, plug it into your USB. The fiber goes in one end here, and the other side goes back to your lightning data receiver. The only other accessory in the box is the catalog, which everybody has a copy of. We will take a moment to go back to lightning data receiver and I'll show you. Right here is where you connect. So you have fiber in, this connects to your sensor. You have a fiber out, this connects to the fiber optic converter that connects to your computer. So fiber out to the computer, into the sensor on the roof. That's the quick overview video today. Let me know if you have any questions. Please give us a call 520 615 9999.